We're going to take you now uh, to the Windy City. Uh, that's where Kim is. And you saw her earlier on en route to uh, the family of Ronwyn Williams. So Kim has arrived at the home now. There she is. Uh, so let's find out how the family is feeling. Of course, what a wonderful achievement just to be nominated. And of course, um, it was no mean feat because Ronwyn really did perform those heroics at the AFCON and of course for his club Sundowns an absolute uh, sterling captain but Kim it's over to you Yeah, so Kina, well, as you said, that um, it is such an honor and such a prestige to be nominated. I mean, in all the, the history of South African soccer, he's the first South African to be nominated for this Ballon d'Or Award. And as you mentioned, he's got a very big CV with his heroics as F at AFCON, as you mentioned, saving those four penalties. Um, that was also one for the history books. Um, his Golden Glove Awards, um, all the clubs he's represented, teams he's represented, our country that he's represented so well. And I mean, this really was a well-deserved nomination. And I mean, the nomination wasn't just for him, it was for his friends, for his family, and especially for the area that he's come from, the northern area specifically, an area notorious for uh, gang violence, for drugs. And I mean, he is the proverbial rose out of the concrete here in the neck of the woods in Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. But not to delve too much into it, I'm actually joined by his uncle now, Maurice Camillo. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm sure you're obviously very proud of Ronwin and his achievements. Can you just tell us, as a young boy, as a young soccer player, what was he like? First of all, good morning to you. Good morning to the listeners. As a youngster, Ronwin was very... He, he, he wanted to learn. You could see every time when, when, when we... Even before he started playing soccer, he used to go watch his, his father playing soccer, his mother. And even me, me, my, myself, when I was three, four years old, we find him at the soccer field. And when playing soccer, you could see that, that, that he, he, took, he took in what, what, what he saw. And uh, he just took it to, to, to a new level, to, to a higher level. And uh, I'm glad for him. I'm glad uh, what what has happened in his life. I think he thoroughly deserved it. And then if we just um, look at the awards last night, you said you spoke to him, the grandkids spoke to him. I mean, this is the first time you're really seeing him in this kind of setting. I know you see him on TV all the time playing soccer, but I mean, this was now a different setting with all these big soccer names. What was that like for you? For me, it was an, it was an awesome feeling. I, I don't know for him, but we, we spoke uh, about two weeks ago then I told him, Ronwin, you mustn't feel uh, inferior to, to, to these guys. You are the equal, because they must feel great to, to be in your company, uh, to, to see what, what you, you have achieved. And uh, <clears throat> I actually, in one interview or so, I, 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 I said, uh, when he, in the game third year at, at FCON, then I said, Ronwin, uh, I don't know, what, what, what can you still achieve? Little did I know uh, that he was going to be nominated for a, for a Ballon d'Or. And that, I think, that the nomination, well, for us, is a winner. And the nomination, I think that was out, out of this world. And then just lastly, quickly, uh, Ronwan is 32 years old. They're asking me to wrap in Joburg, but I just want to get this last question in. He's 32. Do you think um, he still has a good few years left in him? Because you know his football age is, is not the youngest. Yeah, but you remember a goalkeeper is like a, a, a they say, an old wine that it matures with time. So he's, he, I think he's now starting to reach his, his peak now. Mm. And uh, the next, I think he's still got about five, five to eight years still left uh, uh, of, of playing in top football. And then he can give back to, to the community. Thank you. Thank you, Maurice. That was Maurice Camillo, um, just uh, Ronwin's uncle, just saying how proud they are of his achievements. And also just saying that even though he's 32, not the youngest footballer out there, but he's still good, got a good few five, eight years left in him. So I think there's a lot more football to be seen. But for now, from us, Jan Kubeja, it's back to you in studio. Well, thanks so much, uh, Kim Daniels. And yeah, goalkeepers have been known to play uh, well into their 30s, even in their 40s. So we expect quite a lot still from Ronwin Williams. And you can hear the rain there. Kim was joking earlier that she's uh, speaking to the family now. She might be having to report on a flooding situation later. So that's where we'll leave it uh, with Kim Daniels in Kobecha.